What's up guys and welcome. Welcome to Call of the Sea. So although I don't know exactly how many of you know about this game, I am actually quite intrigued and excited. It's a very short game. It's about three and a half, four hours long or so. But this game has a lot of things that excite me. First and foremost, we are playing on next gen. It is 4K60. Um, it supports ray tracing from what I believe. It's got like that very Sea of Thieves vibe, if you will. It's based in the 1930s. You are in a remote island somewhere in the Pacific and you're playing um, a woman who is in search for her missing husband that went out in some sort of adventure. I felt like the synopsis of this game was so cool that I, I thought I'd kind of just read it out directly to you guys so you have a really good understanding of what it is that we're getting into with this game. It is 1934 in the far reaches of the South Pacific. Nora has crossed the ocean following the trail of her missing husband's expedition and finds herself on a lush island paradise, a nameless forgotten place dotted with the remnants of a lost civilization. What strange secrets does it hold? And what might Nora unearth in her quest for the truth? I'll be honest, as soon as I read that, I was like, okay, I, I am interested in this game. Let's see what this game's got to offer. So check out this video. Let me know what you think. If you'd like to make it a full series, drop it a like. A huge thanks to the team for sending me a copy early. I appreciate it. And uh, let's hope it's a good one. It's a short game, so that's always fun. And uh, yeah, let's do this. No. Those voices. Wait, what? Oh, oh, we're playing already. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, so we're. Are we scuba diving or what's going on here? Interesting. Where am I? Nora, I believe you're somewhere in the South Pacific, underwater, in what appears to be a very uh, important cave of some matter. I don't, I don't know. Maybe we're just dreaming or something. I know this right? place. I've been here before. This is quite the interesting start to a video game. But I'll be honest, this is one of those games where there's mystery. I've been here my entire life. I'm trapped in here. Now this is from the same voice that uh, this this voice actor was in. Uh... These stairs. I'm climbing these stairs again. Was in Firewatch. I don't know if you guys remember when we played that game. I need to get out. The voices are calling me. This has got to be some sort of dream. My old music box. It's broken. I have to fix my old music box. I, I have to get it. I have to... <sighs> Those horrible dreams again. I've had them repeatedly ever since my mother died and left me that music box in her will. Harry strange. always said that old family heirloom had something to do with my family's strange disease. If the doctors won't give us an answer about your illness, I'll search for one myself, you said. And in that search, it seems you lost yourself. I don't think I'd ever... Pardon me, madam, but the island is in sight. We'll be lowering the boat in just a minute. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Captain Hodgson. I'll be right out. Ooh, dude, I love this scenery right here. All right. Time to gather my things. Very nice. Look at the pollen in the air. Oh, this is this is nice. This is this is really nice. Okay. Hey, right, well, so far so good. Off to a good start. What do we have here. We've got our gloves. So A is to interact. Okay. Oh, I better cover up my hands before I leave the cabin. I wouldn't want anyone thinking I'm a circus freak. 
I received a mysterious package at my house. I stored all its contents in my locked suitcase. I received a mysterious package at my house. I stored all its contents in... Okay. Let's check out this notebook here. Seems to be some sort of diary. Ah, the amazing adventures of Nora Everhart. Art teacher. So press Y to open up the journal. Curious things from my journey. Nora, remember this. July 6th of 1934. It's been a month since I received Harry's last letter. I was postmarked San Francisco and mentioned that the answer to my illness might be found in the Pacific Ocean. I'm hoping this silence is only due to the delay in the Postal Service. July 14th, 1934. Last night I had another one of my vivid dreams, but this time something was different. I saw a strange island looming in the distance. In the heart of the island, a huge stone obelisk rose up before a mist-shrouded mountain. I'm sorry if some of these words are kind of, you know, messed up in the pronunciation. I woke up drenched in sweat. September 16th of 1934. I keep waking up to odd dreams in the middle of the night. Still no news from Harry. And it's been three months already. Damn, this disease of mine. My husband is missing and I can barely walk for a couple of minutes without getting exhausted. October 10th, 1934. An enigmatic sentence written on a photo of my husband. An ancient stone relic that looks like a knife. A brass key with the letters CW engraved on it. All three were in a package I received yesterday. Postmarked Tahiti. No sender. Find him. 74 nautical miles east of Otaheite? <laughs> I don't know. After leafing through a couple of history and geography books, I found that Otaheite was just an ancient name for Tahiti. The same place the package came from. What does all of this mean? Anyway, my mind is made up. Even though I still feel woozy, I have to give it everything I've got. It won't be easy, but I'll find my husband. Whatever it takes, even if it means going to the end of the world. October 14th of 1934. Following Harry's trail, I caught a train to San Francisco in the Madison building. I found out that on May 25th, Harry bought six passages to Tahiti on the SS Carmo. Tahiti again on a side note I'm not sure if it's the fresh air or the sea breeze but I feel much better October 19th of 1934 first I'll sail to Tahiti on an ocean liner if I don't find Harry there I'll have to find a ship that will take me to whatever is 74 nautical miles east of Tahiti this isn't going to be easy or cheap either October 23rd 1934 I missed the sea so much after Harry and I moved to Denver I love to sit on the deck and watch the moonlight playing with the water. It is so comforting. I finally arrived in Tahiti. Finding information about Harry's expedition is turning out to be a tough road to hoe. I think I must have walked all over Papiti asking about them, but nobody seems to know anything. About that place 74 miles east of Tahiti. Some locals have mentioned an island, but they won't say anything else about it. It's like they think the place is cursed. I met an English sailor, Captain Hudson. He knew some of the crew members on the Lady Shannon, a whaler. Apparently, the ship took an American expedition to an island east of Tahiti. According to Hudson, it's been months since he last saw the Lady Shannon or its crew. Like every good sailor, the captain is superstitious. Do you think I'm mad? I'm not going to risk the lives of my crew by going to that cursed island. He said, November 4th, 1934. So this is now three days later. After three days of begging, I've managed to convince Captain Hudson to take me close to the island. Save your money, Mrs. Everhart. Leaving me alone will be payment enough. I think there's a sweet, tender heart inside that grumpy old sailor. That was a lot of reading for one day. Okay. <laughs> I love this song. Well, just in case, copyright strike. Let's turn that off. Why don't we? Okay, we saw that already. We can open up all oh of these. My, rooms. I have the worst memory. I forgot the combination again. Thank goodness I always bring my journal with me to write things down. Okay, so let's see how many things we have here to open. 
Just to make sure we're not going back and forth all the time. What is this? It's not exactly a clawfoot tub, but you can't always get what you want. Okay. I'd always dreamed of traveling. I was not the same without you, Harry. Hmm. Okay, we have another one here that we can possibly hmm. open. I think I've overpacked. No. Okay, so there's only one that we have to open. It's a three digits number. 506, possibly? Let's try that. Yo, if it's 506, <laughs> I swear to God. All right, now it's open. <laughs> okay. So this Harry, is Harry. Heart, my husband, my partner, and my dear old pal. Some elements have hidden information. Rotate them to find it. A brass key with the letters CW engraved on it, and some enigmatic instructions. So 74 miles east of Otaheite, Otaheite, which is Tahiti. Okay. Harry Everhart, my husband. I will take that. This strange and sharp relic came in the package I received at home. So these are the three things that we've received in the package and the map. I saw this island in one of my unsettling dreams. I drew it as soon as I woke up. We're done here. We're all set, madam. The motor boat is ready. I'm definitely going to miss this bed. Falling asleep to the ship's rocking was delightful. Okay, Nora. From here on out, you're on your own. Lower the motor boat. Be careful with Mrs. Everhart's equipment, lads. We'll be back to pick you up in three days. I really hope you find your husband there, madam. I hope it too. I'll see you in three days then. But please be careful on that island. You know what the legends say about it. I'll take care. Thank you, Captain Hudson. Chapter 1, 74 miles east of uh, Otaheite. Well, here I am, in the middle of the ocean after traveling across half the world. Just miles away from where my husband is supposed to be. Wow. You left a year ago to search for a cure for my affliction. Your letters kept me close to you, but suddenly they stopped coming. What happened, old pal? What did you find? Whatever it was, it led you to hire a crew and set sail from San Francisco to Tahiti. And from there, to this place. An island in the middle of the Pacific that the locals refuse to even name. Hmm. Everything is familiar. It's so familiar. As impossible as that may sound. Is this the island I dreamed about? This, this can't be a coincidence. Excuse me, guys. Welcome to Call of the Sea. Oh man, this is gonna be exciting. I just love games that look like this, you know. I really do. Like this is this is the graphics that they're just I don't know. They're just happy to play in or be a part of, you know. And everything has to be realistic. Idyllic island, surrounded by deadly reefs and protected with stakes to keep anybody from entering. Oh, why? Oh, oh, she said the same thing. You see, we're on the same page. We're on the same There's boat. Definitely something strange about this place. No pun intended. Very, very nice. Got our luggage. Got a nice little tent there. Who set that tent up? 
Wasn't us, was it? Okay, oh. Harry. Let's see if I can find any trace of you around here. Wow, look at that, huh? Very nice. Now, is there a running button? There's gotta be a running a running button. Oh my god, a tent. please. So somebody was on this island recently. What is this? Well, that's a vivo. A flute that the Polynesians play with their nose. I won't be playing that. Well, that's a vivo. A miniature va'a. A Polynesian outrigger canoe. Beautifully crafted, too. Hmm. Okay, so can we uh, put our luggage down here somewhere? There's a rifle there? What is that? It's not a rifle. Ooh. A note written in French. I only understand two words. Ill and mort. Island and death. <laughs> it must be a warning about the dangers. It must be a warning about the dangers of the island. This machete is completely worn down. The blade is dull. Hey, can we take it and sharpen it? I mean, there's plenty of rocks. This machete no. is completely worn down. The blade is... Someone has been chopping down palm trees. A lot of them. Maybe oh. to build something. That probably explains the sticks and... God knows what else. Oh, hold on. There's a passageway there. Okay, let's see. Can we not run in this game? Oh, boy. It looks like it opens from the other side. Okay, so we're probably... I mean, we could probably head that way. Maybe that's something we should do after. How do I run? Let me see. I've got to look at the controls. Like, Can we not run? Run. RT. Okay, we could run. Maybe not yet. Okay. That's what it is. Maybe, maybe right I now. I feel quite good. I dare say I might even walk a little faster than usual. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Those markings seem to represent the sea. I'll make a note of them in my journal. It might come in handy. Oh, yeah. Okay, now I feel much better. Now that I can sprint, I feel definitely much more alive. And it's suddenly getting dark already. Oh no, that's just the shadow. So we can't go that way. It's gonna have to be this way. What's up here? What's up, buddy? How you doing? Okay. No idea what that is. These wooden figures are called Unu. This seems to be telling a story. It's like this lady just keeps answering my questions. What is going on with this island is cursed. A bone fish hook. Okay. Hmm. Nothing here. May look peaceful, but clearly somebody wants to keep outsiders off this island. What a lovely flower offering. Somebody definitely lives here though. That's that's a given. There's a fact. This box. CW. Those are the initials on the brass key. It opens it. So whoever sent me this key was here. <clears throat> And they knew we were coming. Okay, so that... What? This is starting to look like a scavenger hunt. A carving tool. Uh, you gonna take it? Let me look at that again. This well, she is wrote starting it down. to look like a scavenger hunt. From what I've read, the Polynesians don't need doors. So why build such a big one? So we're gonna need hmm. them to go Something's there. Something's missing here. Hmm. Well, that 
lifted something. Uh, so we're gonna need another one of those to put it there. Now the thing is, how do we carve that? This is starting to look like a scavenger hunt. Okay. So the level mechanism is missing its cover. Brass key with the letter CW engraved on it. The thing is, how do we... Hmm. So I need the key I received in the mysterious package to enter this island. What does it mean? Or I needed the key. Okay, so we're probably going to have to head back and see where we can get this... Oh! Well, look what's hidden here. <laughs> okay, that works. Very nice. That works just perfect. may be the first time I trespass a private property. My childhood in Newburyport wasn't exactly the most thrilling thing. Is this recent or how long has this been here for? Lady Shannon? That name sounds familiar. Let's name the ship. Check my journal. So, six people, fragile instruments, several boxes of equipment, boxes and explosives, weapons and explosives, supplies of three weeks. Port de Petite. There it is. Is that... Harry? Harry, you were here. You were here and I found you, damn it. Where are you now? Where is everybody? Where did you and all your crew go? Mm. This gives me like very uncharted vibes, like the whole expedition part of it. Not the game and graphics, of course, but the, the expedition part of it. A mechanical bridge? That doesn't fit in with Polynesian traditions either. This reminds me of those slot machines that Harry and I saw at the Atlantic City Pier. But a Polynesian version. Okay, so before I do that, I feel like we're going to have to keep investigating a little bit further. In order to get the clues oh, that we need. It's been years since I took such a long walk. This fresh air is doing me wonders. Love the accent. Love the voiceover. Love it all, baby. Excellent. Okay, so we've got a sign there. What a beautiful mountainous landscape. You can see the sign, right? Yep. Okay, before we head there. So that's the three forks up. Let's see what we got in this sign. I can sign. feel the air is denser here in this mangrove swamp. Dude, this scenery is just beautiful. Rays of sunlight shining through. Another symbol. Yep. So these are the symbols we have to uncover. So we can be able to probably unlock the bridge. <laughs> and I thought Colorado was too far from home when we moved there. Now that I've crossed half the world, I wouldn't mind crossing the other half. I, sort of I have to do it with usual pal. There's another symbol inside it. I mean, hopefully we're jotting all of this down <laughs> and I can see it later. If not, we're screwed. But we should be able to use it all. For the bridge. I had a feeling we have to keep going before even trying to solve the puzzle. And Oh okay. my, this is so beautiful. <laughs> What were these birds called? Uh, lorikeets. Cole's lorikeets. 
Really? I just call them parrots. Oh, we're on the other side. Make sure we cannot interact with any of these things. Like little parrots, lower keys, or whatever. Okay, let's see if we can open up this. Uh... Ooh, here we go. That's, That's actually very convenient. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we go back and I climb up there. This looks like Pride Rock. Simba. Okay, too much of a Lion King fan. I'm sorry. What does that say? There are lorikeet feathers scattered around this uni. I'll draw the symbol in my journal. Feathers. Okay, so we've got to find another one of the symbols. Could it be this one right here? No. Hmm. What about this here? Oh, look at the feathers right here. Polynesian chieftains make their head ornaments with lorikeet feathers. What a lovely souvenir. Mm. Oh, I see. I think now we might actually have all of the... Uh, all, of, all of the symbols. Let's see. Okay, so we've got five. Alright, cool. So we're back here. We've got the mountains, the rays, the fish, the water, and the bird. Okay, so what if I swap over the the bird with the mountain? Because the birds are higher than the mountain. Alright, and then the ocean comes and then it's kinda like the levels. You know, you get the sun, the mount the birds, mountain. Ocean and then fish all the way at the bottom. Well, I guess I hit the jackpot. That's that might take us across the river then. There it is. Interesting. Still now. Okay. Into the jungle we go. I like that. The puzzles are pretty cool. Hopefully they don't get too frustrating. <laughs> I don't think we have like actual cutscenes, which is okay. Honestly, it would have been nice, but how long have I been walking? I've lost track of the time. Chapter two, the Everhart Expedition. It looks like we've arrived wow, at some what's sort this of place. Civilization. I better have a look around this abandoned village. Perry's crew might have stayed here. What is this? This enormous stone slab looks like a mechanism to get up to the outcrop. Hmm, is something missing here? That's probably what we're gonna need. How the heck did they even build that? <laughs> How is that even possible? A tiki. Like something straight out of an adventure novel. Well, this is an adventure novel, per se. The it's Ever just Hard an adventure Expedition. Game. They set up camp here. Yeah, but uh, where the heck is your husband? He's dead. Another tiki here? Could these tikis be some sort of guardians? Ooh, pictures. Polynesian man covered in tattoos. I'm not sure if he looks angry or scared. He's not covered in tattoos. He's just well, got a tattoo. What well? 
The guy doesn't want to be near the ruins. Why is he so afraid of that well? So now you believe in magic, old pal? He gave me one of these amulets to each to each of us. Only Harry kept this. There's definitely some sort of mystery in this game, which is friggin' awesome. Looks like That's some of the crew members didn't get along too well. Oof. A forbidden ritual? He's warning us about those ruins. He says there's some sort of forbidden ritual to place here. Fascinating. These ancient ge uh, geometric stone structures are not Polynesian. What purpose do they serve? Nice. Let me record it. So, you said you've been on this island before. Yes. Some years ago. I made a rookie mistake. I did it from my fishing route to go to what looked like a better spot. Less than an hour had gone. I went suddenly. My va'a. My canoe overturned. And I got this lovely souvenir from that mistake. Heaven, what gave you that? Car. It's not a what, but a who. I don't know. I didn't get a good look at it. But it seemed like a sea creature I never seen. Creature. Anyway, I was lucky enough to reach that Whiteson beach. The one where we landed on the island. A man came three days later and got me out of there. He brought me to the port of Papeti without speaking a single word. Time passed, and I promised myself that I would go on with my life and forget about this damn island. Why did you agree to return to the island, then? I need to know what happened to me, to discover the truth. I don't know if you get me. Absolutely. Hmm. Interesting. So something or someone is in this island. It's not very friendly. Out here giving people scars and they're composed of four pieces. Yes, they are. Like there might be some sort of switch to something. Oh. They were packing a lot of heat when they came to this island, but they took all the guns with them. Very neat. A woman, perhaps? <laughs> you know a man's not gonna be that neat. <laughs> yes. Quite a looker. A fashion model, maybe. Roy, the best stomach in Hollywood. Oh, is that a Harry? Better be Roy. Looks like this fellow was a real heartbreaker. Okay. His real name was Costas. So name of bearer. Costas Apostolou. Bearer's actress in the United States. In case of uh, accident notify Athan Athanasius Apostolou. Right. There's definitely been an accident. People are missing here, and I don't know what's going on, but we're about to find out. Nice comb. Hopefully. Liquor? Who worries no. this much about their appearance in a place like this? <laughs> definitely not liquor. A broken mirror. Isn't that supposed to be like bad luck or something? I mean, I'm just saying. Ooh. I'm not sure what to expect on this island, but I hope I won't regret not having a gun. Blowing so an ancient, ancient hatch with dynamite sounds like a fool's errand to me. 9.5 feet distance. Explosives. Detonator. That's definitely... Okay, so that's on top of of the, the, the mountain. They took the little elevator thing up, as you can see it. And then on top, they planted the explosives on top of the ancient hatch, or at least that was the plan. This fella sounds pretty hot-headed. 
July 14th of 1934. I came to this godforsaken island just for a few days and I've been almost, and, I've, and it's been almost two weeks already of doing nothing. Is this rich jerk going to open the hatch anytime soon? I'm not going to wait for Mr. Know-it-all again like I did with the elevator. You better let me handle this situation. We brought the dynamite for a reason. I've never cared much for games of chance. Oh, that's just fun as fuck to play. I'm sorry I'm taking my time with this. I mean, if you guys would like it to be faster, just let me know. I'm just trying to go through everything that I possibly can. What do we got here? A dead end. Interesting. Well, at least that rules out one of the pathways. That's good, I guess. We'll go over here. There seems to be another oh, dead end, but we've got it. more. Someone on the expedition died. Oh. Roy? Oh. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> there Did it they is. Use all the dynamite? <laughs> I'm telling you, somebody died here. Well, now it's confirmed, but more people died here. This is not no little fun expedition. What a this delicate been, piece of craftsmanship. This has been some shit that has turned sour. People have died. He if, seems confused, as if he was having a hard time writing this down. If anybody needs me, I'll be in the medical tent up at the flat out crop. After what happened, I better find out more about the, well, Dr. DeWitt. Oh man, that's it. Things happened. It's confirmed. You heard it here first. Lady. What is that? A skateboard? <laughs> That's not. Just, 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 okay, just joking. I'm trying to stay awake. It's getting a little late here. A farewell message from a friend. Aw. Guess we'll have to finish your game in the afterlife. Where's some peace? Allie. Roy. Wow. Wasn't Roy the Heartbreaker or whatever? I never thought that this expedition would cause anybody's death. Oh, I'm sure Harry never thought so either. If he'd known this oh. was going to happen, he'd never have come here. Well, let's just hope your Harry's not dead either. I hadn't been close to a grave since my mother's burial. Shortly after she died, my lovely Dalmatian spots, as Harry used to call them, appeared. I thought it was nothing at first. Stress, maybe? Let's see. That's another bridge. Oh. Oh, oh this place I must have found the luxury huts. Pretty swanky. This is bigger than we thought, huh? I'm willing to bet this is where Harry is. I've seen Harry keep even restaurant checks for bookkeeping. He would never tear up a piece of valuable information. Okay, so hold on. I don't want to do that it's just yet. It's being ripped out of something else. Let's check everything here, and then we'll go ahead and we'll... The parts of the tiki on this column seem movable. Puzzles. I like it. That Mr. Everhart. seems to feel guilty for whatever happened. I feel really bad for him. I still do not understand what happened. Roy knew just as well as you do and me to uh, that the black ooze was highly violet uh, volatile. Should never have believed him. And he said he had your permission. You're responsible for what happened. Frank. Hmm. Look at him. There he is. Giddy as a schoolboy. Icor? Black ooze. What the heck is the black ooze? You put together quite an expedition, Harry. And all just for little old me.
My dear old pal, I know you won't ever read this letter, but I'm accustomed to writing you and it comforts me in this strange place. This island is riddled with secrets. So many secrets. But I'm not only talking about mechanisms and contraptions, Nora. I dare say that something on the island clouds one's judgment. Otherwise, I don't have an explanation for Roy's actions. The man was arrogant, impulsive, and a little cocky, but he was no fool. We weren't friends by any means, but he didn't deserve what happened to him. Now, we may have made some progress in finding the cure for your illness, but at what price? I miss you so much, Nora. Harry. He may not say it explicitly, but Harry blames himself for Roy's death. I know him too well. And I miss you too, Harry. Bro, so many puzzles here. What is going on? Where did you get this strange device, Harry? What the heck? This is supposed to be some sort of projector. <laughs> Um, what? No idea. I'm not really sure how this thingamajig works or what to do with it. The Harry Everhard I know would never have given up on this. Something must have happened that kept him from solving it. So the black dots. Yo, this, this is a lot of puzzles in this black game, ooze. dude. In a telescope? Other planes Lens. of existence. That's bats. So after specific alignment, the device concentrates the renaissance, uh, renaissance uh, the re resonance wave spectrum in an optical impression. Observing the lenses will affect the subject's pineal gland, allowing them to gaze into other planes of reality. Outside the spectrum, we consider our dimension. All right. What? After specific alignment, the device can't. What specific alignment, bro? This explains why the campsite is nearly abandoned. Tell everybody to pack as fast as they can. We have to get back. We have to uh, get to the black sand beach. Something happened to the ship. Bring only what's. Indispensable. Oh, here we go. Jeepers, a stranded ship. Ooh. Rip. Something's missing here. <laughs> All right, so we might need a lens or something to put on top of that. Oof. Okay. Okay, I'm actually going to really come back. Not really sure how this thingamajig works. I'm going to come back to that. With it. I'm going to. Oh, here we go. So that's the object there, the ancient mechanism. Okay. Considering how poorly Harry draws, this isn't half bad. More okay, drawings. Okay, hold on. Let's let's figure this out then. What do we got here? So we've got uh, this one goes right over here. Now we need the top part, which is this, and then this here, and this one goes. Got here. it. Excellent. So different sea creatures, connection with each tiki, order of the symbols important, family symbols. So different sea creatures, so turtle, shark, octopus, and whatever the heck that is. We're going to head back here, and I think I figured it out. So this is the octopus. 
So the octopus is the last one. So this is going to be the last one. So octopus should be... Let me see. Should be the hands. So that's going to be octopus. It's broken, but I might as well draw what I can see of it in my journal. Hmm, hmm. Something's missing inside that emblem. It's some sort of Polynesian coat of arms. Is yeah. that an octopus? That's definitely what we're, exactly what we we're talking about. So now we have the turtle, um, which is a crown. Then we have the octopus, which is the hands. Then we have the shark, which is the eyes. All right, we got it. We got it. So I guess the puzzles are a little bit overwhelming, but uh, when you when you tackle them little by little, one at a time. They, uh, they're not that bad. Pretty nice. Okay, so here we go. This is definitely gonna help us out in figuring everything else out. So we've got the crown's gonna be the first one. The little crown thingy. These eyes. Um, I remember these hands. And this mouth, was it? There it is. Secret compartment. <laughs> Freaking knew it. Excellent. What kind of stone is this? I've never seen any substance quite like it. Is this what it could go? Uh, disturbing. This could be what we are gonna use. What is this? It? This appears to be the shrine of a Polynesian chieftain. Impressive work. Is that a fish pattern? How... How is that possible? What fascinating technology. All right. Very oh, nice. Oh my. This is actually incredible. <laughs> oh, yo. Oh, oh, hello there. What happened here? The black ooze. Oh, the black ooze. Oh, somebody was not happy. Somebody was really mad. A medical bed soaked in blood. Oh, shoot, that is blood. Another medical bed not soaked in blood. Oh. Is this a picture of my hand? Those spots look all too familiar. What the heck? Cripes, this man was splashed with that black liquid. Whoever took this picture must have a really cool head. Erythrocytes. Hmm. Aren't those red blood cells? Unidentified substance pulsating affecting erythrocytes. Heavens, he's losing his mind. Stop playing that music. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. That's enough. I like it very much. Okay. <laughs> July 17th of 1934, the spots on my skin are moving. I can feel them. Is there someone in the well? I can hear voices at night. In fact, I can swear they're calling my name. Who's playing that music? That black like ooze again. Uh, that imbecile Roy blew up that hatch. Smithereens and blew himself up with it. Don't worry, Doc. I have Mr. Everhart. Uh, I have Mr. Everhart's okay. And this is just... A controlled detonation. Huh. Three feet closer, and I would have, and I wouldn't be here to tell the story. I got splashed with that black ooze, and took, and uh, it took me the whole damn evening to clean it up. So this is July 15. Skin alterations appeared on my left hand today, similar to the angiomas. Angiomas, allergic eczema. Cyanosis? 
Let's hope not. I took some samples of my blood to analyze. Ask for the photo of Everhart's wife's hand. It's identical. Ugh, I can't stand the smell of medical equipment. It reminds me of my illness. Okay, before I go down there, this is the thing they used to detonate. I better not touch it. <laughs> Given what happened, they shouldn't have either. Whose brilliant idea was this, this huh? structure a hatch of some sort. I feel like we're gonna have to solve a puzzle in order to use. Well then, I'm going down. Come on, Nora. Deep breath. I wonder if we have to solve that puzzle back there. The one with the lens that we weren't able to figure out. Is somebody whispering? Hello? Is anyone down here? I can press these star-shaped tiles. Oh my god, that's disturbing as hell. What are you doing? What the heck? Maybe Mr. he Everhart. heard the whispers too. The doctor's been acting like an oddball ever since he was splashed with that black ooze. And he's got worse after moving to the top of the cliff. Keep an eye on him. You were Rituals? close to something here, Harry. Let me see if I can solve it. Other realities? Forgotten civilizations? Not Polynesian? Black ooze used to replicate ritual. Well, this replicate looks like another ritual. job by handyman Harry. This is it. Replica ritual. Modify tilling gases invention. Okay, let's let's go over. Can we interact with this wall? Yep, here it How is. How old is this mural? It looks really ancient. It depicts a ritual of some sort. What are they doing to their eyes? <laughs> okay, so here we have another one of these. Uh... Oh snap! Is that another shortcut? Yes. Well, that was easy. I like that. How you can get shortcuts? It's pretty cool. All right, let's see what this is all about. So this is the whole thing with their eyes. Press that. to me uh no it's not stop it were these eyes related to the ritual do they have two pupils <laughs> another oh. eye ah uh, i hear whispering oh fuck me i feel disoriented down here Okay, so what's the deal? Are these ornamental? Oh, I almost feel as if they're watching me. This might actually be the puzzle. Are these ornamental? Oh, something else. The puzzle for the... Do they the have other... two pupils? <laughs> I hear I might... it. I'd, I'd better draw it just in case. That's got to be the the problem solved for the uh, for the, <sighs> the projector puzzle. It, it stopped. Was I imagining all that? Then maybe we probably might get the conclusion or or the if we solve that problem, we might get the combination of what we have to press uh, down there. Time. Let's let's see. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Hopefully. Okay, it's gotta be one more here. Oh. Yes. Oh, we I got it. I solved it. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, good. So. I wonder what I might be able to see with this lens. 
maybe that goes here. Ooh. It fits. That ass thing. Oh, hi. What the frick? What? What on earth? What is happening? My God. There it is. What was that that I saw? What That's were the those puzzle. stars? That's the puzzle for the, uh... For the, uh, what do you call this? For the freaking thing with the black goo. We got it. So now we just gotta head over here and just finish this off. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Alright, guys. We are on our way. So now we. We've got this, we've got the pattern. So we look at it straight, or how do we look at it? So there's a star here. There's a primary star here. Where's the primary star? So we probably look at it like this. Correct? And it goes this way, this way. And then... Okay. We're gonna start here. Okay, and then we'll go around. I think it's like this. Perfect. And here it is. All right, looks like I solved it. There it goes. <laughs> Let's go. Holy. The, the well is filling up. That, that's black ooze. Oh, no, no, no. It's happening. It's happening. I, I'm feeling faint again. I can't, I can't, I can't stay on my feet. So that's the well they were talking about. That it's cursed. Well, the island is cursed, period. What is this? Where am I? Am I dreaming again? This is different. It isn't my recurring dream. I can't stop walking. My legs aren't responding. What the hell is that? Holy Moses, what... what is that creature on the horizon? Wait a moment, I... no, no, no! Ah! I... I can breathe. Underwater. What is going on in this I game, man? I, I have to find... Oh my god. What is that? What kind of creature is this? I need to <gasps> get a closer look. Oh my god. Oh, what the... What the frick was that? Ah, what, what happened? Oh, how did I get to this speech? Oh, I have a terrible headache. The vanishing of the Lady Shan. Oh my goodness. 
all right guys we're gonna end it here this has been a little crazy but now things are starting to get really interesting thank you for watching let me know what you think should we continue should it be a series should we finish it drop it a like if yes there is a huge scar scars on the ship thanks for watching catch you later